All right, so we head forward here where we can find everybody hanging out and waiting for us. Now, yeah, I see it. I see it. The entrance to the trials. I wonder if Uni's really in there. Let's go and see. Let's go. I was hoping you guys had more to say, like, individually, but I guess I'll take it. On the floor, we can find Albed Primer number 22. We find out that J turns into V. That has come up quite a bit. And we have achieved the rank of Albed Metanide. Sure. I should probably look up what these actually mean at some point. But, uh, yeah, th we got it. Hooray! A save sphere. Still can't play Blitzball, unfortunately. Even though I picked up a new player. Uh, let me deal with the sphere grid and all that. And I'll be back. That is all taken care of. There were quite a few sphere levels. So let's go over it relatively quickly here. Uh, Riku has moved on. She has uh, the agility from here. She has Mug. And she does have defense now. Titus did learn more accuracy and more evasion. Oren got more defense and more HP. Kamari got more magic and more agility. Plus, we're going to head up here and get him more defense and HP. That is something that we did not get for Lulu because I didn't have too many level 1 key spheres at the time. But for Kamari, we will get that. For Waka, we got more evasion and more magic. I believe we already had the HP from here. Uh, we did go all the way from here, after all. Lulu got more... Uh, well, she had the more agility. She got death, and we moved back so that we can get the uh, level 3 stuff. I am looking forward to that. We're getting close, but for now, death. And that is it. Still feels like I'm always missing somebody because I am, but that is the party. Let's head into the Cloister of Trials. When people say they don't like the Cloister of Trials, this is typically the one that they're pointing to. So this is Bevel. Uh, this is not necessarily people's favorite, but I'm gonna see what I can do. I'll see if I can't do it relatively quickly. It's going to involve some button spamming and a lot of forbidden machina, I am sure. Uh, we can ride this little platform across these, like, Tron platforms. All right, so, confirm direction. There's only the one direction, so let's take it. I believe the first thing that I want to do is take the first right. So we will wait for that. There we go. You want to hit the button to confirm the direction in the path that you actually want to go. Uh, then we will head down here. We don't have a choice, even though they do ask us to confirm direction again. We can only go forward. So we will head down here. All the way down to the bottom. Platform spins with us, it seems. All the way to the end, where the platform will turn into this thing again. A pedestal, we'll call it. And there's another Bevel Sphere here. There's a Bevel, a Bevel Sphere in the pedestal as well. So we'll put it in. I don't think I actually have to do that, but it's good for storing. And we'll push that in. Forms another platform. Titus automatically goes across it. And we will head all the way back to the top with this very awkward camera angle. I don't understand the point of that, but we will head all the way back. We, once again, don't have a choice, so we will confirm the direction and head back to the top. Now, at this point, I want to head to the right, if I can. There. All right. That's not where the button spamming kicks in. Not yet. All right, take one of the Bevel Spheres out of the pedestal and put it on the wall. Put it on the wall. Thank you. And that opens up the path down there. So now we can get a choice next time we go down there. All right, let's push the pedestal back. And instead of just going across like I want to, we have to go through this ordeal again. I'm not going to bother with this one. We will just go to the end. 
because at the end we just restart. We'll be doing that a couple times when I mess up, but this time uh, that's actually what I wanted to do. So like I said, I wanted to go to the left at the second one. Let's try to time that right. There we go. And once here, I can grab a second Bavel Sphere. Once again, I think I can just hold on to it, but I will put it on the pedestal for safekeeping nonetheless. All right. Now that we have everything that we need from here, we will move forward, and by forward I mean down. Yeah, we'll just go all the way across. It's fine. And we'll start over again. We want to take our first right this time. Luckily it is going relatively slow, so it's pretty easy to time it. That will not always be the case. Uh, this one will now confirm which direction I want to go. It is actually to the left from here. There we go. I have all the time in the world to make that choice. And I'm going to make the third right. So there's the first right, second right, here's the third one. And let's spam the button, and it didn't help. I mistimed it. Sometimes you just mistime these things. I honestly have never figured out the proper timing from here to make sure that I have a right at the third one. I just kind of hope for the best. Spare the button. There we go. <laughs> Eventually it'll turn right and it'll click and it'll, it'll say that I want to go over to the right. Okay. Pedestal, let's take the, the Val Sphere out of there, put it over here. And that opens up, well, a path, but there's nothing that we can do with that just yet. There's there's a recess here, but it does not want a Bavel Sphere. Plus, if I took it off, I can't, you know, do this. The Bavel Sphere is required for making the platform. So I, I like having it there. Now there is a little bit of a trick, and that is if you try to do one of the earlier ones, that first or second right, and then you go back, it moves a lot slower. I'm gonna try not to show that off, but it does happen. And, and if you're struggling, that is one way to go. This time I wanna make the second right. So, spam, and eventually it'll work. It never actually confirms that you wanna go straight, so you can just spam the button and it'll be fine. Here, there is a new sphere. This is a glyph sphere. We have seen glyph spheres before, but it's the first time we saw it this time. And we will remove that, and it takes away the back option there. You can see there's kind of a diagonal path there. We'll have to see what we can do with that. I don't think, once again, I don't think I need to put it here, but I will because it makes maneuvering a little bit easier for me. Push it back now that we have the glyph sphere. And I will be able to show it off, won't I? Uh, when we go here, it automatically turns us to the right. And as you can see, we go a lot slower. Makes doing this a lot easier. I'll still spam, but you can see, it just barely got it. All right, with the glyph sphere in place, which is from here, I can now put it on the glyph over here. Hooray! And this allows us to get the Destruction Sphere. The Destruction Sphere is required this time. I don't think there's a way to get up to the top without the Destruction Sphere. Now, at this point, do I need to actually put that back? No, I think I'm good. I don't think there's a way for me to do it anyway. We'll just hold on to the Destruction Sphere for whatever reason. I don't like putting it on the pedestal. Maybe it's just me. All right, so we head all the way to the end once more, which means we start from the beginning. Well, not the beginning, but the beginning of this tier, this level, this floor. Uh, we want to go to the second right this time. We'll see if we can't time that right. Just, by time it right, I mean spam. Just spam the OK button right there. That's the trick. And now that we have the destruction sphere, we want to put this here. And that has 
open up a path that will take us up the diagonal slope. However, we're not done here. We want to push this and get another Bavel Sphere. And the only one that's really available to me is at the third right. So we're on the second one. Let's head to the third one. And once again, we'll just spam the button and hope that they know what I mean. Apparently, I still didn't get it. Apparently, I still did not get it. I was spamming pretty hard. But we'll try it again. Like I said, I want the third one. This is where we'll have to do, like, th this over and over again. Apparently, I still missed it. Like I said, I'm not sure on the timing on that. Never bothered trying to figure it out. Just, just guess and check. I have, like, a 50-50 shot, give or take, that it'll work for me. So I've never bothered. All right, that worked out. So we can head over to the right and grab ourselves the other Bavel Sphere that I wanted. We'll go ahead and put it in the pedestal for safekeeping, because we don't need to go down that path anymore, so it's okay that the path went away. And now we will finally go down that first right. Could have done that before if you were struggling, but I think I am fine. I made it so far. That's all the hard parts down. Now it's just getting that first right. Never did figure out the timing on this either, but it worked out okay for me there. Here, there really isn't anything to do except continue pushing the pedestal forward. Weird. I was holding down, it went up, so I switched to up and it went up, and then I switched to down and it went down. Sometimes this game confuses directions. I hope it's not me. But now that we have opened up this path with the destruction sphere, we can head up top. As it turns out, the destruction sphere chest is the one that you kind of always get, but there is another chest. So we will grab one of the Bavel spheres from here. You don't need to do this now, but I'm going to, to save a little bit of time. We'll put it over here. That opens up the path, eventually. That way, there we go. It has to move, otherwise you can't go across. Here's the, the destruction sphere treasure chest. I didn't hit the button, you just kind of automatically open it. But you get an HP sphere out of that, and you get the sound to let you know that's the uh, destruction sphere chest. However, because we have two Bavel spheres, I have one in there and then one in the pedestal, I can still use the pedestal after I reset where its location is. And I can go over there. Now, this is an entirely automated sequence. I'm not pressing any buttons here. Uh, but in the treasure chest here, you can get the Night Lance. Oh, I have to press the button to okay this, but once again, not pressing any more buttons. He automatically goes back. He opens the treasure chest and automatically walks back all by himself. So let's take a look at what I got. Uh, we also got ourselves uh, something interesting for Orin, although I don't use it too often. We got that Gorgon Gaze from the boss, Stone Touch. It has its uses, granted, but a lot of enemies that I want to use it on are immune to petrification, so not necessarily the best, but something to keep in mind. Kamari did pick up all the way down here at the bottom, the Night Lance. As you can see, it's a lot of strength for Kamari, so I'm gonna go ahead and put him on that. We'll have to figure out another way to sense. Uh, maybe we'll put it on Lulu. She doesn't have a particularly good magic thing. All right, but that's it. That is the usually seen as worst Cloister of Trials down. Kind of weird that the, this requires so many machine parts. Yuna? But it's in Bavel. Inside, maybe? Then what are we standing here for? Because we're not allowed in there. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Hey, you can stuff your taboos. I think that's taboo too. Yeah, Kamari. He's doing the bulk of the work, let's be honest. But he's helping. And we finally get to see inside the Holy of Holies, the Chamber of the Faith. Yeah, Kamari can handle this by himself. 
Inside we go. Wait, what? It's the ghost kid. What? What's that? A faith. They join with the summoner and together receive the Aeon. They are human souls imprisoned in stone by ancient Yevon rites. The dead should be allowed to rest. Yuna! How did Orin get inside? I mean, Yuna! What was that? The, the ghost kid! He's from Xanarkin 2. I think. Talk to me a few Wait. times. Wait! Don't come out! Why not? Is it a surprise? That's not the surprise I had in mind. There's the last of them. You are to stand trial. Shut up, Keenock. <laughs> I'll kill you before the trial. I expect it will be a fair trial. I seriously doubt that. <laughs> of course it will. But but I got Neon, didn't I? I did, and it's Bahamut. As it turns out, that, that ghost kid? Bahamut. Oh, I like Bahamut. There's one really good reason why I like Bahamut, and we'll have to see if I can show that off eventually. Save current game, I will. Absolutely. Because we will pick up from here next time. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. I've been Baller Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by our now complete but under arrest party of Titus, Orin, Riku, Waka, Lulu, Kamari, and Yuna. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.